So with all the gluten-free baking we're planning on doing here, we thought we should probably start out with a regular wheat crust and do this. Uh, I'm willing to poison myself, because uh, I will want to try this. Um, very simple, we're going to do the simple sort of a Neapolitan, the very thin dough. This rose for um, about 40 minutes and then we put it in the fridge for a few hours, that's about it. Took it out, rolled it out, spread it out actually, but it's ready to go. We're going to do a very, very simple uh, topping on this. We're just going to do some, some crushed tomatoes. And uh, I've got some San Marzano tomatoes. These are not them. I'm going to save those for the gluten freeze. Because I think they, they do get all, they need all the help they can get. Um, these were just uh, whole plum tomatoes uh, taken from the can and just quickly ground up and drained with using a food processor or a hand, uh, hand blender, stick blender. So, we need some tomatoes on that. Uh, I'm going to put a, a little bit of, you know, just salt this lightly. Our stone's been in the oven preheating for 45 minutes at 550. We'll do a little fresh crushed black pepper. And you can do this all just as whatever tastes good to you. You can put some hot pepper on this if you like. And uh, simple is what we're doing. We're not going to overdo it. I've seen uh, people put the uh, tomato, the, uh, the basil on right from the very beginning, but I prefer not to do that. We're only going to bake this about four or five minutes, uh, but I still think uh, just putting the basil in for the last 30 seconds or so is good because it doesn't uh, burn and crisp up. has a nice fresher flavor. So that's about it, and we're going to just drizzle a little bit of fresh, or not fresh, uh, extra virgin olive oil on this. The silicone pastry brush works really well for this. A little bit around the edge. But like everything else, simple, we're not going to overdo it. Okay, so that's about it. And we'll save our basil here for the last 30 to 45 seconds or so. So we're going to pick this up with our super peel. We've got about a 14 inch pie. So just right for this. Very easy to uh, slide this underneath. And just pick it right up and we're ready to go to the oven. Okay, here we go. We've got a uh, two stones set up in the oven. They're placed on racks about uh, four or five inches apart. And we're going to place our pizza right between those two stones. I say we're going to bake for about four or five minutes. And about the last 30 seconds, we'll uh, put the basil on. There you go, very easy. Okay, just about five and a half minutes, timer's going off. We're going to pull it out and put the basil on it and drizzle with a little more, just a little more olive oil, and we're going back in for another 30 to 45 seconds. So we bring the pizza out. See, the crust is just starting to brown a little bit. And just quickly spread your nice fresh basil around the top of this. And say just a little extra, little drizzle of uh, your extra virgin olive oil. And back she goes for another 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, it's been about 45 seconds to a minute with the basil. And we're going to pop this out. And always, always, don't let it rest on your peel. Put it on a cooling rack. Let it cool for about, uh, well, give it 10 minutes. Five if you must. And, um, and then cut it needed. If you leave it on the peel or you put it on your countertop, it's going to re-moisten the crust underneath. You want to keep it nice and crisp. So always use a cooling rack for the first uh, five, ten minutes of cooling. Okay, I did want to give you a look at the nice brown crust underneath. I'll get a little bit of char started on there. It's pretty nice. Nice and crispy. Okay, time to cut this guy. It's been cooling for about five to ten minutes. Should have a nice crispy crunch on the bottom when we cut this. Uh, so, we'll zoom right in here. Sounds good. So there you go. Nice thin crust Neapolitan style pizza. Done uh, a la margarita with uh, fresh basil and fresh tomatoes and fresh, uh, this is cow mozzarella, not buffalo, but uh, it's going to be good. Here's a little pizza tip and trick that I'd like to share with you. Um, just a couple leftover slices here, but you can do this with your... When you first take it out, let it cool for 10 minutes and set it back in for about 30 to 45 seconds. We'll do that for 30 seconds. And when it comes out, but what it will have done is re-crisp the bottom, give you the most amazing crust. 
If you ever, you know, you get a slice when you go out to pizzeria and you get a couple of reheated slices, they're always, they always seem to be better. And the reason why they're better is just exactly that. Because they've gone back on the, the oven stone surface for, uh, for a short period while they're reheating. And it just makes them that much extra crispy. So uh, try it with your whole pie. There we go, 30 seconds. Time to pull that out. Now, that is supreme. Now, here's the extra crunchy bottom crust. Just listen to this. Crackly crispy, and that is delicious. So, try reheating your pizza for about 30 to 45 seconds after you let it cool for 5 or 10 minutes, and I think you're going to really be surprised. Enjoy.